Well, hey, welcome back to the bench. As messy as ever. That just means I got a lot going on. I have some amplifier tests coming up. You know, pre amplifier build, class D amplifier test and measurement. But today I'm going to take a look at my meters. I want to check the accuracy over the frequency range of the AC scale. And I have a couple of my so called good meters a cheap meter and this little analog meter. Now, you know, these meters are good enough for me. I know there's Keysight and Fluke out there. You know, if I was a professional working day in and day out in electronics, I would certainly consider buying a high-end meter. But I'm just a benchtop weekend hobbyist, so I, I really don't need to spend a lot of money on a meter. I don't need precision, accuracy for what I do. You know, one of these meters is plenty good enough. I'd rather take that money that I would spend on a high-end meter and apply it to something else. Even savings for retirement. But that's another story. So what I have here I have the scope set up and the meters all set up to the output, connected to the output of this op amp. The input is coming from the function generator. So the meters are going to measure the output voltage coming from the op amp. And since the scope will be accurate across its range of frequency, which is you know, a 50 megahertz scope, so it should go well beyond what these meters can handle. And since the output of this is limited, I'm using... Oh, there goes one of the meters. Uh, yeah, the output of the function generator is limited, so I'm going to use the op amp so I have a 5 volt RMS output. So, without further ado, and get started here taking some measurements. So I turn on the function generator and um, it's hard to get the setting precise but I'll start at tw around 20 Hertz and the scope says we're at 5.06 or so volts and the meter this says 5.032 this one's saying it's 4.9 oh, my one meter turned off uh, this one's saying 4.5 so we know that one's really low and this one unfortunately you know this is an inexpensive analog meter Lowest AC scale setting is 50 volts, so I can only read a very small part of the scale, but it's, you know, it's right on 5, I think. Let me see here. Yeah. If I get the camera right over it, it's at right on 5. Okay, now we're set for 60 hertz, which is the line frequency in the United States. And we're about... 5.404 volts. Now, I'm not saying the scope is the most accurate here. It does have a 8-bit digital to analog converter. I don't have a voltage reference to use. So I'm just kind of seeing you know, how close these things are. Well, the meter says it's lower, 4.89. 4.83, 4.4, which we know is really low. That thing stays pretty much on 5. Let's see, if I change the... See, it's 
See, if I put more waveforms on there, the scope is now measuring, you know, closer to what the meters read. So maybe I should leave it like this with more waveforms on the screen. 4.96. So it's a little closer, I think. Now at 500 hertz, about 5 volts. 4.932, 4.86, this one keeps steady at 4.4, this one's holding out at 5 volts, and this could actually vary, but you know, the scale's so small it'd be hard to tell, but uh, we're doing pretty good, let's keep on going. Okay, one kilohertz. Meters are staying pretty much the same. I think this one said in the manual it's good up to 400 hertz. It is uh, 4.83 now. This one's staying yeah, up there pretty close. Okay, I'll cut to the chase and I'll just adjust this until the meters start dropping out. And then I'll shoot some more footage. Okay, I'm at 2 kilohertz now. Looks like the meters are starting to drop out. This one's at 4.8. This one's at 4.6. This one has not changed, nor has that one. So it's getting interesting now. Let's go up another step. Okay, we're at 5 kilohertz. And something interesting happened. This meter dropped like a rock. It's like it has a low pass filter and it just rolls off. Once you get above 2 kilohertz, it starts rolling off fast because now it says it's about 1 volt. This one has dropped considerably, 3.8. And oddly enough, though this thing was never accurate to begin with, it's only dropped by 0.1 volt. And our little analog here is pretty much staying right at 5 volts. Now, just for the heck of it, I went to over 100 kilohertz. Of course, these meters can't handle it. But the analog one is still at 5 volts. Matter of fact, I'm pretty much at my limit of this thing. It starts to drop out if I go higher. And uh, slew rate limited because it turns into a triangle. So we're uh, at the limit of my function generator. Well, the conclusion is I'm pretty safe taking measurements with these meters up to around 1 kilohertz, maybe a little bit more. This meter, surprisingly, I could go much higher. I need to try it at a higher voltage, though, so I can see more of the scale. Of course, you really want to use the scope for taking high-frequency measurements, voltage measurements, like that. But, yeah, just for everyday use, I was curious of how high a frequency I could use these meters with. Before I close this out, I just want to say a couple more things. Appreciate everyone dropping by and watching my videos. Most of you have very good comments and questions, and I try to answer and read as many comments as I can, but I'm getting so many now, I just can't keep up with everything. Hey, if you want, you know, if somebody has a question and you feel you can answer them, that would certainly help me out. And, you know, it's not a cop-out or anything. I'm still going to try to respond to as many comments as I can. But 
you know, don't get mad if I can't get to your comment or your question. Just wanted to say that, and yeah, once again, thanks for watching my videos. Catch you later.